Hello and welcome. I am Patrick Kearney from Purple Park Studios and today I'm going to show you how you can key out green screen footage in After Effects and then put that footage into Blender. Okay, so what we're going to do first is open up After Effects. Once you have After Effects open, you're going to hit new composition from footage. Uh, wherever you have the footage saved on your you know, computer or desktop, you want to go there and load that footage in. I happen to save my footage here for the tutorial on the desktop. So I'll go ahead and drag that in here. Okay, so you've imported your green screen footage into After Effects. Uh, now what I'm going to do is scroll through here and I just want to find a good starting point. I shot this by myself, so right about here when I start to lift my head up, trim this here. Then I'm going to trim the end too. So I don't want you to be walking away. Maybe right when my hand comes down here. So this uh, button right here, you can uh, toggle transparency. So if you want to turn your layer off there, you can just see, if you want to work with a ba uh, black background, that's fine. If you want to transparent, you can do transparent. I'm going to scroll, uh, scale in the clip just a little bit here. Okay. Now it's super easy to key out green screen in After Effects. Uh, I'm actually going to switch to quarter quality here uh, just while we're doing this. So it's a little easier on my laptop. And just type in key over in the effects and you want a key light advanced spill suppressor. Just go ahead and drag that right onto your clip there. And then you're going to go on this little eyedropper here. And I, in, uh, you can actually key out the footage in Blender, which I tried doing that in Blender and After Effects. I just found that uh, it's a little easier to do it in After Effects and quicker than it is to do in Blender. Um, with After Effects, I usually like to select the brightest area of the green screen. And it does a pretty good job there. Uh, in uh, Blender, I actually select the darkest area of the green screen. So if you're keying out in Blender, it's something to note. Uh, and then you want to scroll down here under your key light and check this advanced spill suppressor. And that does a really nice job of cleaning everything up. Um, but we, how can we be sure that we got everything? I'm noticing here there's a little bit of bleed coming through. So I'm actually going to go to screen mat and before I go to screen mat, go up here and under where it says intermediate result, scroll down and hit screen mat. And that lets you see how well it actually did. Now we can see that it's not completely keyed out here and we're going to have some trouble when we go to put it in Blender. So we want to fix that. So you go back here to the screen mat, drop that down and you're going to turn up the clip black. It's about there and then maybe go down on the clip white. That looks pretty good to me. I think that's going to work for what we're doing, but just to double check, we want to go back up here to where it says view and screen mat and go back to the intermediate result. And that's a quarter switch to full here. That's looking pretty good to me. Um, you can toggle this transparency view on and off. I, I'm wearing a lot of dark colors in here. So for me, it's actually easier with the transparency view on, but if you're wearing brighter colors, it might be easier to see against a black background. So now that we have that, you can kind of just scroll through your footage and make sure that I'll go back to quarter here and make sure that everything's good. Check a couple points here. So for me, this is looking pretty good. I think this is going to work for what we're going to be doing in Blender. Okay, so we have successfully keyed out our green screen footage and we're going to want to render this out so we can put it into Blender. So we're going to want to select our composition, go up to file, export and add to render queue. Under render settings, click the drop down arrow and go to custom. Just check the frame rate. Uh, it's mine's 23.976. Uh, we're going to want to match that up in Blender. Uh, so it's just good to make note of that. Uh, so that, that's good. That's the only thing we want to check there. It's worth checking on though. Uh, then go down to output module and the drop down arrow, hit custom. The format, we're going to do QuickTime. And this is important. Make sure you go to where it says channels and hit the drop down and RGB plus alpha. And that will allow us to render out, you know, all the colors, but also with the transparent background. So everything else looks good for what I'm doing here. So I'm going to hit OK. And then you're going to want to click here under output to and choose where you want to save it. Now I've already saved the footage, so I'm not going to render it out. I've rendered it out earlier in the week uh, while I was working on this project. So I'm not going to render it out, but you can pause the video now and render it out. And when we're back, we're going to jump into Blender. 
All right, and welcome back to the tutorial. So uh, you've hopefully successfully exported your keyed out uh, green screen footage from After Effects. And now I'm gonna show you how to put that into Blender. And from there you can essentially build whatever you want <laughs> around your footage in 3D. Uh, so what we're gonna do is first, if you don't have images as planes enabled in Blender, you're gonna wanna do that. So you can do that by going to edit and then preferences and just type in, I already have it typed in there, images. Here, I'll just do it for you. Type in images and it'll come up there, export, import, images as plain. So you're gonna to wanna to check that box there if it's, if it's not checked, and then you can go ahead and X out of that. So now that that's enabled, you wanna do Shift A on the keyboard and go down to image. There, from there you click images as planes, and then you wanna find the location of your video clip in your computer or laptop and select it. I happen to save mine to the desktop, so I'm gonna click that and import images as planes. So now, this plane has showed up here, but we can't see our footage on it. And that's because we need to go to render mode, which is this uh, little world icon up here. Now I have an HDR IMAP loaded in already. So I'm gonna switch over to uh, viewport shading mode here. So now I can see my footage. Uh, it might be a little laggy on Blender, um, but you can see that the footage is moving here. And when you render that out, it will render out in the real time, like how you saw it in After Effects. Um, but we don't just want to render this out. This would be pointless. Uh, so we're going to want to, I've actually already gone ahead and built a little set for this clip. Um, so if, if, you know, you might've done that yourself, if you're a 3d animator or a modeler, um, or maybe you found some assets online that you've dragged into blender and you're going to build a little 3d set around your footage. Um, but I'll just show you what I did with mine here. Turn this on, uh, here I have a little robot that I modeled a few months ago. I decided to drag him in there and I'm going to have him reaching out and we're going to be making contact here in the scene. Um, I've also put a cube into the scene and I have a texture on it just for a background. And then I have my camera set up just so that I'm right in the frame with the robot here, kind of straight on. You can do a little camera animation too, just to give it some movement. Um, but essentially I have the robot here. Let me turn this up there. the robot will be reaching out in the scene here. I've done the rigging as well. See the rigging. And then we go back to rendered mode. This is what you have. So you can kind of scrub through your footage here, make sure everything's good. You can really play with it. And from here you can kind of, once you have your footage in, you can really build whatever you want around your footage, which is awesome. And you can do that in After Effects somewhat if you have the plugin Element 3D. It's a great plugin. It does cost money. Uh, Blender is free. And I've found that you can do a little bit more uh, when it comes to 3D with Blender than you can with just Element 3D and After Effects. But I mean, they're both, you know, great tools. Element is definitely a great tool worth having. I use it a lot, uh, but recently I've been really into using this keyed out footage in Blender and it's a lot of fun. So I hope this tour tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Uh, if there's anything else, you know, you want to know, just uh, drop, you know, something in the comments and let me know make a tutorial on that. And if you've enjoyed this and if it was helpful for you, please hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, see you later.